Hello everyone, Ronnie Wink here, and today I'd like to share something with you called a kindness challenge. Have you ever engaged in, a, engaged in a challenge with your students? If you have, you know that when you make something a challenge or a competition, students will buy into it, excitement will grow, and it becomes easier to practice and teach that skill. You can leverage that competitive spirit to work on character education or SEL. Character education is something that we must teach and cannot ignore. We must find the time to integrate character education into our curriculum to help prepare our students for the world. Character education is a continuous learning process that enables young people and adults to become moral, caring, and responsible individuals. It is a critical part of teaching our youth. The California Department of Education, or CDE, clearly emphasizes the importance of incorporating character edu education into the curriculum since students spend so much of their young lives in the classrooms. They state that the time in school is an opportunity to reinforce core values upon which character is formed. The CDE cites the International Center for Leadership and Education, which has identified 12 guiding principles in character education to teach students in order for them to have successful relationships and become vital members of our society. The 12 principles are as follows. Adaptability, which is the ability and willingness to change. Contemplation, or the ability to think things through with proper care before taking action. Courage or bravery. Honesty, which is truthfulness. Initiative, which is to take responsible action on your own without prompting from others. Loyalty or faithfulness. Optimism, which is having positive beliefs. Perseverance, which is trying hard and continuously in spite of obstacles and difficulties. Respect, which is showing regard for yourself, others, and the world around you. Responsibility or accountability for your actions. Trustworthiness or reliability. And the last one, which can arguably be the most important, is compassion or kindness. While Jeff Bezos says that cleverness is a gift and kindness is a choice, the Webster Dictionary defines kindness as the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. We must teach kindness to our students by explaining what it is. It is important to start by defining kindness and giving them concrete examples of showing kindness to others. You can hold class meetings, read good literature about kindness, and explicitly point out kind behavior to each other. These will all teach students about what kindness is. And once students know what kindness is, you can engage in kindness challenges with them, leveraging their competitive spirit to become kind to one another. These can be as simple as, or as complex as you want them to be, but the return will be worth your investment in time to teach and promote this skill with your students. So let's start with a big kindness challenge. In December, I did the 10 days of kindness challenge. Each day, I would turn over one number on the tree with an activity. For example, day one was invite someone new to play with you today. Day two was smile at everyone you come across and so on. My students were so engaged in this challenge, they asked me every day before they got into the classroom how they could be kind to one another. When I would turn over a new number on the challenge, the excitement in my classroom was apparent. Each day we would try to build on our actions by completing the current day's kindness act and all the previous days. I could visibly see the compassion grow in my students as they reported how they were showing kindness to each other. The best part of this challenge was that there was no tangible rewards, it was all intrinsic. They were learning to be kind for kindness sake. Once I began the kindness challenges in December, my students begged me for more. So in January, I had my students buy in a little more to the challenge by giving me ideas to print on the back of these numbers. My students had some great ideas to show kindness. And of course, 
some of them I had to tweak a little bit so that we were all able to show that kindness action in some fashion. But this type of buy-in kept the interest alive. So in February, our challenge was to fill your hearts with kindness. To increase the rigor and tie character education with, into academics, I decided to connect our latest kindness challenge to writing. Instead of having my students tell me verbally every day how they were kind to one another, I had them write it down on a sticky note and keep it in their pencil boxes. At the end of the week, we engaged in a Kagan structure called Timed Continuous Round Robin. To do this, the students took out their sticky notes for the week and individually shared aloud to their teammates how they were kind. One person spoke at a time and we they went around um, until the stickies were finished. I set a time limit on this because some of the students had more pieces of kindness evidence than others. After sharing out, they made an individual flow map of their three favorite pieces of evidence of kindness. And then they used that to write a narrative paragraph about their kindness for the week. We shared our kindness paragraphs aloud in author's chair with each other and celebrated how kind we all were not to have mentioned how engaged they all were in their writing for the week. Kindness challenges don't have to be such grandiose events. They can be simple. Here are two examples of kindness challenges for grades TK through second. The first one is a calendar. Each day the, student, the teacher can read to the students the kind act and the students can color it in if they showed that act for the day. The second one is a poster that can be placed in the front of the room with a new kind act showing each day. Students can be directed to this kind act, simple, fun, and engaging, and most of all, compassionate. In third through eighth grade, a daily challenge can be posted in the 20 Days of Kindness Challenge. This challenge not only has the students performing kind acts, but also the teacher is performing acts as well, thus modeling to the students how they can be kind as well. The kindness change is, is another example of a simple kindness challenge. In this example, the teacher can make a kindness chain like a paper chain that has a kind act on one side and a quote pertaining to kindness on the back. The students will be challenged to complete the act of kindness and reflect on that quote. They could even keep a journal where they write and reflect on the quote for the day. You will also have access to both of these and the previous two slides where these kindness challenges are linked. We can creatively weave in character education and it is essential to make this a priority in our teaching. It's helpful to leverage other areas such as combining character education with writing. That way you can make the time to fit in these lessons. It is possible and the benefits are phenomenal. After all, it's time to be kind. Reach out if you'd like me to plan a kindness challenge with you. Let's plan and teach it together. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.